Hold on Doing one enough. second. Good. <laughs> Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Okay, here we go. I have everything working? Question mark. I think I have everything working. We're good. You're so sweet. Thanks, Majona. Thanks for the 300 bits. Cosplay as Zelda when Echoes of window, Windows and <laughs> Wisdom drops. That would be fun. I would like that. That would be cute. Is there a way... I can't make that costume. Is there, like, a costume I could buy on, like, Amazon or something? That looks like the... Um... Uh... That looks like the Zelda from Echoes of Wisdom. Well, my brain just stopped working there. We've got some good Nancy games coming after this one. Yeah, I, I can't remember what's after this one, but yay. Yay for that. Ghost of Thornton Hall and Silent Spire Great. Really? Terrell, thank you so much for 140 months. Or 140 surgery, 140 months. Good morning. Happy September. Yes, it's September 1st. Um, I finally got my new physical copy of Mystery of the Seven Keys a couple days ago. <gasps> you got the physical copy? That's actually one thing I haven't gotten is a physical copy of Mystery of the Seven Keys. Did it take long to be sent to you, Jessica? You never played Deadly Device though? This one is so much fun, but I am gonna let you know we're near the end. I don't know how much more I've been playing. It's, I'm seven and a half hours in. And I'm not sure how much more we have. But I want to say minimum 30 minutes to one hour. <laughs> like, I feel like we're really close. So, just heads up. Um, what did we figure out? Okay, we have officially gotten into the dead guy's office Nico's study we got in his study all right and we like just like we I stopped the game literally just casually looking around his study that's where we left off we did get magnets thank you guys for the likes thank you um and the diary we did get both of those that's done. We got past the biometric. We had to make a fingerprint. That was fun. Um. What was I get? You get your money's worth with this one. Yeah, those, this was a really nice long one. Not that the short ones are bad, but like, man, this is, it's a lot of fun when there's like so many things you have to figure out and solve and different areas that you won't uncover until later in the game. Like, we're at seven and a half hours in and we found like a whole new room, right? This is cool. No, we haven't figured out that pigeon thing. No, we have not. There's still a lot of things we have to do. So that's why I said minimum 30 minutes to an hour. I really think 30 minutes is crazy minimum, but who knows. I want to play some of the older Nancy Drew, but my PC won't play them. Wait, what? Really? Wait, 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 wait. You can buy them on Steam, and they work on Steam. Unless, I don't know what computer you have. Oh, you ordered it in June 10th. Oh, wow, it took a while to get to you. Dang. Um, success, the last test showed that wireless transmission as dreamed of by Tesla is possible. Tonight's test will confirm it. What today exists in my mind alone, tomorrow will be shared with the world. Interesting. 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 4. Okay, well, we got this piece of paper is here. Okay. Hmm. 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 We need a key. What is this? I can't do that yet. Okay. I can't do that yet. Don't know what that is. Creepy little mechanical spider. T 
telephone. All right, diary. I tried reading this, but this, I mean, I can read cursive, but this is a lot of reading. And it was really hard to read, but I feel like maybe I should read it because, uh, it, oh, pigeon. The new maid here must be fired. The roof must remain a haven and he, and the seed and crumbs for the pigeon must not be disturbed. I have spoken to her and have met resistance. I must find someone who will handle this for me and soon. Okay, maybe it's not as bad. Maybe I was just tired <laughs> at the end of my stream or something. Um, uh, I am Hungry Spider. You are a beautiful butterfly. What? <laughs> Newer Mac computers don't play the old ones, even the Mac compatible games. Oh no. Do you have a Mac, Jessica? Oh, that's even on Steam? That's unfortunate. There's gotta be a way to fix that somehow, right? Though on Mac, you can, you can have something called Boot Camp and you can run PC on your Mac. That's a thing. I don't know if y'all knew that, but I used to do that when all I had was a laptop back in the day. Um, the radio waves continue to behave in odd, surprising ways. Clicks always together in a sequence continue to be observed in the lab. I have isolated any local and atmospheric disturbances from these events. Radio wave communication will not be limited to use, to use on the planet. There is, by the way, is it too loud? Do I need to turn it down? Is it too loud? Um, there is potential for other signals from other civilizations to be found this is an uncertain this is an uncertainty but a perplexing uncertainty that i will continue to observe edison has asked after me or so i've been told i find it hard to believe and moreover i don't care if he is interested in meeting it will wait edison wait is this is this uh, uh, Tesla's book? Oh wait, maybe this isn't Nico's book or diary. Oh, interesting. I find it hard to believe and more so, moreover, I don't care. If he is interested in a meeting, it will only be because the world has become wise to his strategies. Uh, this is career in continuing proof that if given the choice, the world much prefers a showman to a researcher. He, oh, he, okay, his, he, he is no doubt determined to prove that direct current has its merits, which it does. It has the unique quality of lining Edison's pockets in a way alternating current never could. Okay, this is Elon, or not Elon, <laughs> Tesla's. Oh boy. I have a Mac laptop for work, a few Steam games uh, on that, but vast majority don't work. The console's for games though. True. Um, but you, yeah, I don't, maybe it's too hard to ask people to just run boot camp and run PC on your Mac. I just did it in the past. That's the only reason why I say, hey, maybe if you want to play games, maybe you just do this. Colorado will not be forgotten. What I have proven here will lay the foundation for a new way of the world. Edison, Morgan, the others are locked into a way of thinking that will lead to segmentation and strangulation of resources. My work here is proving, proving has proven the earth in itself, a conductive body. The earth itself is charged pulsing with electricity that we must simply urge toward our needs. Uh, the world is urging me to walk, but I must run. I have proven the need for a new facility on the eastern coast. With what I've established here, it is time to apply this on a larger scale. Radio waves will Cross the Atlantic and return. The energy of the Earth itself will flow on command carelessly and will, 
and without toil, without Edison's heavy hand. The man from the military has written again, he is most keenly interested in a scaled prototype of an energy ray. The prospect is interesting and entirely possible, but as it stands, I am too locked up in the question of resonance. I am close to a result and sorry, this is hard to read and some of my work yet not entirely what is that word? Something of the next stage of application. It will no doubt factor into my work at the Western Lab. Still, the idea is somewhat interesting. Another scramble for, fi for funding has become the focus of my time. A week of work has been lost, and surely more will follow suit. I must get someone to manage these affairs. Men in, su men in suits hoisting contracts aloft no often see their way into my path perhaps i could engineer a way of some sort to clear them from my surroundings <laughs> whatever okay so this is an old diary of tesla's so interesting i thought it was nico's diary so maybe nico got the idea and that's why he died <laughs> interesting Ceaselessly, monsieur, monsieur. Edison is the reason America film capital is LA. He was so stingy with the patents he owned on movie making equipment. Filmmakers moved across the country to get away from patent laws. Really? Oh, that's, oh, oh, I see ambient. Hey, awesome. Okay, is there anything else here? We got a lot of magnets. We got seven magnets. We got another diary that we need to listen to. So maybe we go listen to the diary. Let's go listen to the diary. We need to go to his study. I guess that was like his lab, his secret lab. So, oh, his, oh no, he's here. Not a good time. I need to listen to the thing. That elevator nearly killed me. The elevator nearly killed me. Sounds bad. Then maybe you should stop wandering around. What? I better get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. We need to get him out. Uh, who would help us? Ryan. She'd help us get him out. He doesn't care if the elevator tried to kill me. How dare. Can't check that. Can't check that off yet. All right, let's go to Ryan. What's up? Can you distract Victor for me again? <sighs> you got it. Yeah. Ha -ha. All right, let's go listen to this audio file. <laughs> uh. <laughs> How dare you ask stuff of me? Oh, actually, one, sorry, one second, one second. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, he's gone, perfect. Okay, let's listen. It's Tuesday, 26 hours of work this week. Off to a running start. Ryan's getting more aggressive with her demands. I'm reluctant to send her packing, but I will if I must. My safety is my primary concern. Which reminds me, the parts arrived today for the pigeon. Thirteen, six, five, pigeon. as expected. Should something happen to me, hopefully someone will figure out what that means. Okay. Last night, I hit 90% efficiency with the suboptimal setup. Thanks to Ryan's threats, I could not carry out the plan I had been hoping. Yet these results mean that it's time to announce. Again, I'm viewing the schematics in my head, but now I have to think differently. I have to find the points in the design where someone could take advantage of the system and bend it to his will. I really don't know who did this. Also, Ryan was only warning him, not threatening him. And we already ruled that Ryan didn't do it, so. Tesla was lucky to live before the nuclear age took full flight. He never had to scrutinize his work. He could brag about death rays or the earthquake machines he had, and the tyrants of the world wouldn't take notice. That's no longer the case. I don't think he understood the cost of destruction. 
To him, it was just the mechanics of the thing. When he attached the earthquake machine to his building, he didn't want to destroy it. It was about finding the perfect pattern. The resonant frequency of the building syncing up with the steady tap of his machine until the structure's myth of stability was exposed for what it was, a hopeful lie. I always like to think that's how Warden Cliff came down, not with a wrecking ball, but with one of his unassuming little boxes set to frequency 37. Warden Cliff? Interesting. Frequency 37. All right, what is this? What was about Nico the up to with a pigeon? What were you up this to? This must sir? be what Nico was talking about in his diary. Wait, what was the numbers? 1365? There's only 12. Hmm. I thought maybe I have to put the magnets on 13, 6, and 5, but there's multiple magnets, so. Interesting. Okay. We have to figure out the pattern for this, but I don't think we know the pattern yet. We don't, we solved that. We solved this one. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else in our inventory. Hmm. Uh, all right. Ha haven't done that. Hmm. Pigeon, I will come back for you. How do we figure out more information on frequency 37? Who can we ask? Maybe Ryan? Ryan's the only one that's like super nice to us right now. I don't know what it means, but there you go. I wrote it down. Is that a binary thing again? Maybe. 13. <gasps> okay, hold on. 13, 6, 5. I, I took a photo of this, didn't I? I think I did. Okay, maybe we're supposed to, like, mimic. Oh, I guess I did. I Here, I'll just take a new photo. It's fine. Ah, darn you! Uh, we'll delete this. We probably don't need that anymore. Okay, so how about we try to figure out how to make that? It's not a bad idea. Eagle has left the nest. It's fine. What's up? Hmm. Bye. Bye. Hmm. Okay, she doesn't want to talk about frequency 37. So maybe we talk to Ellie. What are you doing? Oh, or excuse me, Mason? Hey. So what exactly happened with you and the coil? I, um, miscalculated. Why were you in there? You saved my life. I thank you. That's it. Conversation over. Oh, yeah, we caught him in there. <laughs> There are three lines for maybe. I'm thinking exactly that, Lulu. What were you and Ellie doing spending time together? We weren't. I know for a fact you were. For a fact? Well, I know for a fact. You're wrong. Let me get back to work. No offense, I can't work when you're hovering. Is this your card? Mine has my name on it. Interesting. So not Mason. Um. Ellie said this card wasn't hers. We're talking about That's this card. fascinating. Tell me more facts about the card. Fine. It's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. That can't be right. <laughs> it's in the log. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab. We Any word on the storm? That video. It's gonna be bad. I'd get out of here before we get snowed in. I know I'm going to. I better get going. See you later. What are you doing? Oops. Anything else new here? What are you doing? I 
couldn't get Ryan to distract Victor. So maybe we have to go back into the room that Victor's in and then go back to Ryan and ask to do the pigeon puzzle. If you don't stay put on your own, I'll have to find someone to babysit you. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I'm going to miss the end, but I got to run to meet people for lunch. Have so much fun, Lulu. It's okay. Don't worry. All good. Should I make it be the next day? No, let's go back to Ryan and see if she can distract him again. <laughs> Hi. Uh, there. Can you distract Victor for me again? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Hi. Right, let's go solve. Let's go solve this pigeon. Pigeon puzzle. Thirteen six five. question though they're red so maybe I focus on the red ones maybe so 13 is there's one red in the third position so maybe we'll keep it like this for now so that's 13 6 is 2 on the ends so like this Oh, I'm thinking this is wrong. And then last one was five. Oops. Five is one and three. So, but I I have to use all of these. So maybe there it's opposite. Oops. There we go. There we go. I think that did it. Whoa! What a laser pigeon! <laughs> the heck? Oh, 1902 patent. Oh, okay. This must be the key to one of Nico's passwords. To one of his passwords? Uh, okay, maybe we need to go into his uh, lab again. <laughs> Freaking laser eyed pigeon. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's go back into his study, or his secret lab. This must be the building Nico mentioned. Oh, okay. Was I able to pick that up before? Maybe I had to listen to the audio tape first. Hmm. Hmm. What do I do with this building? I can't do that yet. Where did we see this? I'll take a photo of this. Um, 1902 patents. Where have we seen? I feel like I've seen something about patents before. Was it on a computer of somebody? I think it was on a computer of somebody. Oh, Patton. I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> that was the, literally the most unenthusiastic okay ever. <laughs> Patton from 1902. Um, yeah, where, but where did we see the patents? It was on somebody's computer. Whose computer? Was it Mason's? Can't be Ryan. There's no thing in Ryan's. Nothing in Victor's area. Could either be, no, it's not Ellie. It was Mason, it had to be Mason's computer. Okay, let's make it nighttime so then we can go snoop through Mason's stuff. Was there a location I put this building? I don't know. We need to go upstairs to snoop through his computer. <laughs> oh, wrong way. 
Okay, all right, Mason. Here we go. Let's mess his stuff up because I mean like that. <laughs> Record? No? Oh man, darn it, it wasn't his. Oh, it was the security officer. He had the patent. Okay, it was the security officer. Okay, hold on, hold on. It was the security officer. So we're saying Tesla was an alien? Um, essentially. <laughs> we're getting the other game confused. Oh wait, no, we have to get him out first. Get him out of his office. It's funny how this always works. You would think that he would fall for it. Be like, I ain't falling for that ruse anymore. Logins, security. He Wait, no, it wasn't this. Darn it! Whose computer had all the pens? Do I have, did I take a photo of it? Darn it! Where have I seen it? I swear I've seen it! It's not in here? It's not in Mason's. Where the heck is it? I really don't know. Haven't did that. Haven't done that. Where is it? This is a lab, not your personal playground. Get back to the oh, visitor's the area. Lab? Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edison's book mentioned them. Oh wow, this is gonna drive me nuts. Where did we see the pen? Ah, oh, this was where. You're right, 1902. Apparatus for transmitting electrical energy. Pat number 1119732. Maybe we needed, maybe we need this number? Nancy, you're not saying anything. Can't, haven't done that. Well, what do we do now with that information? This is a thing. Okay, hold on. Maybe we need a. We have this. 11 or 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, 4. I need to close the box first. Okay, it looks like we can only turn it in one way. What? It's not in order. Oh, wait. Hmm. Thanks for writing that down, Madrona. So... <sighs> hmm. It goes down in ascending order, or descending order, from 11, or from 13 to four. Okay, it gets slower and slower each time. All right. But we don't know the order, right? Like the the order of the patent, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's this one, right? Because it's one, it could be 11, but then we don't have any of those other numbers. We don't have a two, right? We do have a seven, but we don't have a, 
Uh, we do have a 13, technically. Nah, I don't know. Nah! Darn you! I guess there's something haven't else in that. Nico's study that I haven't found. So let me go back. Let's go back to his study. There's Clearly there's something I haven't found. What have I not clicked? Or maybe they're saying like this puzzle and that's why I haven't finished exploring. We already read that. We saw that piece of paper. Is there anything else here? Wait, okay, should I put the building here? Oops. Can I click anything? No. There's a box here, but it seems like I can't click on it. Oops. And that's just to get out. Is there something else here, maybe? Maybe there's something else I need to click on. The little robot guy. Um, literally just spam clicking. There's just a whole bunch of tools and gears and lab equipment here. And there's nothing. Also, I really like this wallpaper for this study. Well, shoot. I don't know. Should we ask for a hint, maybe, for this one? This one doesn't give Haven't us Haven't done that. Yeah, I'm assuming that I can check that off whenever I finish this puzzle. But hmm. I don't have I don't have a key. So we have to find the key to start this or some kind of like lever or switch, not lever, but like a something to plug hmm. in here. Hmm. Frequency 37. Maybe this is frequency 37. Nico's audio diaries contain more information about using the oscillator in the lab. They also mention a model building to place on the machine. Oh! Oh, that's what we're supposed to do with the building. Okay. All right, let's make it daytime. I guess I need to go and get Victor out of the room again. Maybe I need to re-listen, because I don't remember what the audio said about shaking. It did say shaking the building. Yeah, it's an earthquake machine. Yeah. It makes so much sense now what the thing is. All right, let's just go listen to the audio, that last audio one, one more time, just to see if there's any other clues. Get him out of the room, though. Darn Victor. Hi. Can you distract Victor for me again? <sighs> you got it. One. Tesla was lucky to live before the nuclear age took full flight. He never had to scrutinize his work. Maybe he could like brag one. about death rays and oh. the earthquake machines he had, and the tyrants of the world wouldn't take notice. That's no longer the case. I don't think he understood the cost of destruction. To him, it was just the mechanics of the thing. When he attached the earthquake machine to his building, he didn't want to destroy it. It was about finding the perfect pattern. The resonant frequency of the building syncing up with the steady tap of his machine until the structure's myth of stability was exposed for what it was. A hopeful lie. I always like to think that's how Wardenclyffe came down. Not with a wrecking ball, but with one of his unassuming little boxes set to frequency so 37. So maybe the numbers have to add up to 37. That's probably what it is. To find the perfect frequency. I think that's okay. That makes sense. Alright. Hmm. I need to find the correct frequency. Here we go. 37. But which... Let's see, what were the numbers again? So what numbers add up to, uh, 37? <laughs> Math! Okay, let's see. So we got 13 plus, I don't know, 11. That's 24. Plus 9. It's 33. 
Okay, we can do 13, 11, 9, and 4. I need to close the box first. What am I trying to find out? Hmm. Okay, so maybe not that. <laughs> How do I know if it's the perfect frequency if I can't see it? Maybe I have to listen? It's making a noise. Did that. Turn on Nico's video system and see you. Hey, I remember doing this puzzle. Uh, let's see. I kind of just guessed last time. Oh man, we don't have that many charges. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, unless. Nope. Close. Well, that was gonna be a lot longer. Okay. Dang it. Okay. What about this one. Yay! Nice. Easy. Did it. Got it. Password. <gasps> one, one. Maybe this is for the patent number? One, 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 nine. You wrote, oh, you wrote it down, right? Yeah, one, 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 nine, seven, three, two. Wait, what was that? Oh, he's, yeah, okay. One, 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 nine, seven, three, two. Yes. What is this? This must be the unedited footage. <gasps> this is the unedited footage, guys. Okay, so that was Nico walking in. We're gonna find the killer, aren't we? Oh, okay, and then that's the security guy walking out. What's his name again? Gray? Okay. <gasps> Mystery Man Victor goes in there. Oh! Oh my god, and that's probably what kills... Nico, Victor! Victor did do it! Oh, yeah, he sees the camera and he's like, oh, gotta edit that. Whoa! Where's that fan? That fan totally called it. Oh my he god. He must have killed Nico. Oh my god! I need to find a way to get this evidence out. Here, let's click the download button. Oh, or the... What was that? I don't know. What was that? It's a US, we got a USB. Was that the robot? What was that sound? Oh, the door, the door's blue. Oh, no, Nico security, of course. I bet all of my electronics just got fried. Oh. Well, darn it, can we get it again? Nothing. The electromagnetic pulse from the door must have destroyed the USB drive. Figures! Freaking what? Alright, do I need like a new USB drive or something? Do I have to like craft my own? <laughs> Alright, I don't know. What do we, hmm. Was there another USB drive we could get somewhere? Was there one in the lab at all? Um, I don't know. But you know what we could do? Let's go ask people. Maybe we can ask the security guy? Maybe he has one? Oh wait, it's daytime. Let's go ask Ryan. Eight gigabytes? Wow. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't even know where all my USB drives are. The little ones or how, many, how much storage they hold. Hi. 
I we need go. your help, big, big time. time. What? It was Victor. He killed Nico. Did you call the police? No, we need evidence. I couldn't. I had evidence, but it got zapped when I tried to take it out of Nico's secret lab. Secret lab? Zapped? What? <laughs> I I'll explain later. I just need a way to get the video out without getting it ruined. You need to find a way to make a Faraday cage. That should get the drive out without wiping it. Ah. Get the drive out. I'll work on what to do next. Take this. It'll help. Oh my god. We do have to build... Okay, we have to build a fair Faraday cage. This box might be just what I need to build a Faraday container. This might work. This might or work. Or maybe it'll backfire and electrocute you. What? Sorry, sorry. I'm just so happy we're gonna bust him. And also really scared he'll catch us and kill us all. I'm on a <laughs> roller coaster right now. <laughs> Ellie and I will gas up the snowmobiles and split up to double our chances of reaching help. Do not let him catch on. If he knows you're about to get the video out, he will kill you. Oh, Play God. it cool, Nancy. All right. I'll let you go. Later. Later. Hey, cat, can you help me? Can you help me make this box? Oh, God, this thing is so creepy. Okay. Never mind. Um, where do I... Oh, look! Spare USB drives! Oh! Perfect. Oh, goodness. Okay, good thing I clicked on the cat to know. Wait, can I build the thing here? Where do I build this? Maybe I build it... I don't know. <laughs> we got a spare USB drive! Alright, maybe we go into Nancy's room? Yeah, but we need like a Faraday cage, I guess. These days we need petabyte drives, just like my cat. When I pet, I get a bite. <laughs> what the heck? Cute. All right, here. Hmm. Here. Hmm. Here. I need to find some foil first. I must have seen some earlier. Foil. Foil. We saw foil. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. Kitchen. The kitchen. Foil. Foil. Where did we see foil? Maybe in the lab? If I was foil, where would I be? Oh, wait, hold on. Was there, this was foil, wasn't it? Yeah! <laughs> wait, how did she know we needed foil? Whatever. <laughs> ah, we got foil, we got foil. Time to make a portable Faraday cage. Hope this works. <laughs> oh, cool! Okay. I don't think it's time for that yet. I can't do that yet. Where's the piece of paper that was included on how to build this thing? <laughs> Check. That's done. Check. The paper's right here. I don't think it's time for that yet. I can't do that yet. Oh. It's too soon for that. I don't think it's time for that yet. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've never made something like this. Okay. This box should keep the drive safe. What are these things then? What are the components? Okay. All right. All right, let's go back to the lab. Do you think we're gonna have to do like a high, high speed chase on a snowmobile? I hope not. I hated, I hated those, <laughs> hate, hated doing chase scenes in previous Nancy <laughs> Drew games. Like that car one. We had to chase a guy in our car. <laughs> I remember that. Um. Okay, let's get the USB drive out this time. Here we go. Okay, it's transferred. All right, we downloaded All right. it. I just might be able to get this through the door safely. All right, there, is it inside? Oh, it's full, okay. All right, what do we do with the components? 
Oh, we did it. Okay, now what? Haven't done that. Oh, we have to go to the police. Oh God. Uh, I don't. Oh, <gasps> what happened? What's going on? Are you okay? Ray, wake up! Oh my God. He's out cold. I should find help. Oh no. Oh God. What is that? Why is he on the ground? What happened? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. <laughs> scare me. <gasps> ah! No! <gasps> oh, wait. no! Well, that's unfortunate for you. Victor, why are you doing this? Stay out of the lab. You that hired me. That was the one me. thing I asked you to do, and you couldn't. What the heck? You see, Nancy, I knew Nico had something hidden in here. I just couldn't find it, which is why I asked you to stay out. Oh you got God. away with murder. Why not make a break for it? Why the elaborate plan? <laughs> Why did that murder scary? investigations scary don't just go away. Someone had to take the fall, Nancy. <gasps> you were supposed to give someone a push. Oh, boy. That friend of yours sold you short. That's why you're here. <gasps> you were supposed to drum up enough evidence to get Ryan put away. Friend but of no, yours? You had to screw that up. Then I handed you Ellie and Mason. Handed them to you on a big silver platter that said, Look how guilty these two are! You knocked me out and then planted the key card. That should have sealed the deal, but you couldn't Got it. Leave it I guess I should be congratulating you for being so sharp. It really is a shame I have to kill you instead. <laughs> Goodbye, Nancy Drew! The cage won't last long against the coil. Oh, I need to find a way to get out without getting electrocuted. Lightning rod lift. I bet Ryan's electrical components will help here. Oh, that's why I got these. This must be the schematic for the circuit. Okay, let me just build this real quick. <laughs> oh, okay, well, all right. <laughs> oh no! Why do we have to build so we're gonna die? I know, it's so convenient we have components. How did Ryan know? Okay, we got the little swirlies. Okay, what's the swirlies? The swirlies are, I guess, the fuse. So a fuse would go here. I need to get this working before it's too late. All right, and then we need some resistors, I'm guessing. Right here and right here. Wait, what's a resistor look like? Okay, I guess that looks right. Um, oh wait, it's an inductor. I think this one's supposed to be an inductor. There. I think that's right. Because these are more... Yeah, 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 yeah. A capacitor. There's a capacitor here, so... Not gonna lie. Okay, maybe this goes here. Is this supposed to be like the order? Maybe I'm looking at this wrong. But this, the lines don't really match up. Save. Oh, good point. We are gonna die. <laughs> Not to brag or anything, but oh, we're gonna die. Um, Bailey, good morning. Hello, guys. Thank y'all for being here. Hope y'all are having a good weekend and Labor Day weekend. The diode has arrows. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, wait. Hold on. This is showing. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just kind of has to be 
<laughs> Wait, what does a diode look like? This is a diode. Okay. I'm gonna assume right there. <laughs> I don't know. Do all these holes need to be filled? Sadly, I'm working on a Sunday. I'm sorry. Is work a little bit chill, I hope? hope so. Are these... Okay, integrated circuit. We need we need those. There's giant things here. Okay, integrated circuit. Alright. Where does this go? Where can this go? Hold on. Put this back. Looks like this one... Needs to go somewhere. Does anybody see where this can fit? Oh, perfect! Here! Haha! -ha. There's three of them. So, I guess we should like... Maybe we can figure... Oh, perfect. Maybe we figure out where these go first. Let's put let's put these up. Ah, there we go. Okay, maybe now we can solve this a little bit better. Mm. So looking at this one, we need um I'm forgetting what they're called. This is this one, the colorful one, and then a diode. <laughs> Chat, I'm so confused. You work at Publix? Oh, maybe you can you can maybe watch streams? while you're working. That's nice though, right? Hi, Ice Climber. Yes, the deadly device. The, oh, the transistor. You're right, that's the K. I'm thinking this capacitor has to go here because, like, right here, right? So this capacitor, this little, these two lines right here, is this, is this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this one, I feel like this one is that. Because this line goes this way, maybe. And then maybe a diode goes here. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay. And then this one goes... Yes, I think we're getting this one. Yes, okay, but we need one more. Um... Here, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so here's my reasoning. Oh, it's break time. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Maybe people are at home chilling on a Sunday, hopefully. Um, so we got, uh, what is this thing? We got the inductor and we got a resistor. So inductor, resistor, inductor, resistor. And then this connects to a capacitor. See the little line? And then this. And this goes in a loop. This, this this one is the loop. But this big one... Oh, God. It keeps going. And then we got the outside one. <laughs> I think I know what I'm doing. I think. We need another capacitor. Uh, but where? Here? Sure. Why not? What is this one? This one's the K, right? Maybe we have to like connect these? 
No, we can't. Okay, maybe there's something wrong with this. Okay, hold on. This looks more right, or accurate. Yes, okay, I think I did that right now. So this is that and that. This is the closed loop. Okay, I had that wrong. Okay, and then this goes, this goes, this blue one. Oh, this one's a bowl. Uh, okay. That, 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 that. And then it needs to connect to this. So wherever this one goes. There! Okay, so this is where the K is. So then this one connects. I'm understanding! Here. And then we need the next one in the line will be this, yes. So we got that, and then that connects to this thing. And the line keeps going to the arrows, which is a D-O, so keeps going to, uh, to a D-O. Oh, here we go. Maybe? And then it connects to that. Okay, I think that's right. Um... We need a cut. We need. We have one more of these. So here. But now we have to figure out which one is what. We have one of each: a diode and a capacitor or resistor. We have to figure out which one is which. So where is that? Well, maybe here. Got it. This should give me a chance to escape. What, what are you doing? Yeah! Take that, Victor! Dear Hannah, Get Victor fried. was rushed to the hospital and then to a courthouse where he was charged with the murder of Nico Jobik. Due to his attempts to subvert justice, oh he's been denied bail until his trial. Word Dang. is he's willing to strike a plea deal for leniency. Mm. But I doubt there will be much to be found. The potential buyers Victor had been courting came forward immediately. It was quickly proven they had no idea about Victor's involvement in Nico's death. Regardless, they decided to cut funding for the lab immediately. I can hardly blame them. Mason snuck back into the lab the night after Victor's arrest and made off with a drive containing years of his and Nico's research. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gray spent weeks chasing him down until he finally caught him trying to make a sale at the Technology of Tomorrow conference. What? What After a heated that? public argument that sent the Technology of Tomorrow bloggers into a frenzy, the two reached an agreement. Gray promised all due credit would remain with Mason and Ellie, provided they assist him in finishing Nico's work. Oh. A video of the argument titled Epic Dork Fight was posted online and went viral almost immediately. Within two hours, Gray was fielding calls from philanthropic backers wishing to fund their new endeavor. Mason, on the other hand, Dork was fielding fight. date requests from viewers who clearly have a profound affinity for the lost art of arguing. Allie was surprised at first to That's hear random. that Mason wanted her to assist with finishing up Nico's work. She agreed to stay on until the first publication is completed. After that, she plans on doing whatever it takes to get back home. She's not sure what her next endeavor will be, but she's excited to make that decision alongside her family. Finding out what had happened to his best friend changed Gray almost immediately. For the first time since his breakdown, he decided to fully re-enter the world of science. He took the lead on finishing Nico's work and opening the majority of the research up to the public. Some of the work he plans to destroy, as he promised. Although she had been exonerated, it wasn't until Ryan knew exactly what happened to Nico that she could begin to move on from what happened that night. She decided to stay with the team during the next research phase on the condition that she can personally address all safety issues before each experiment. More than anything, Nico wanted his work to make the world a better place. I'd like to think he'd be very proud to see the team working hard to prepare his work for public release. The fact that Nico Jovic's name will be known the world over, while Victor's won't, again proves what I always believed. The world fondly remembers those who always give, and soon forgets those who only take. 
Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. Wow! That was good! Ah, we're dead! Good morning! Nice ending. What was the dork fight thing? I guess they needed to figure out a way to get people to want to, like, com contribute so they can keep doing the research. I don't know. That was cool. So we built a circuit that reverses polarity, I guess. We built a circuit to get the um, lightning rod to pop up. So that could keep us alive from the Tesla coil that was attacking the Faraday cage. So we were, we were doing something. I don't know. How much of a shock can an electric eel produce? Uh, shoot, I don't remember. I'm gonna say 450. It wasn't a book that we read, but oh well. Is that right? Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> Whoa, they're all statues! I got the Easter egg imperfectionist for messing up Mason's desk. <gasps> Rebuilding the robotic feline was one. For pilfering gelatinous oh, but, uh, bears. Pigeon handler for frequent flights. Gamer. Well, not a gamer, apparently. Alarmist for consistently raising the alert. We didn't do that enough. Candy connoisseur sampling all of Nico's candy. Chemist creating mini formulas. Electrified for running wireless energy tests. Composer creating shockingly beautiful music. Darn it. I didn't do, I didn't get many rewards. No, but I did get the kitty one. That was nice. Um, close to the sun is good. Really? Did you, f did you get the right answer? No. I can't remember how much electricity an eel produces. I don't know. All right, let's, y'all want to watch the teaser for the next one? <gasps> Thornton Hall. Around here, they say, it's a wicked place. Ooh. Abandoned years ago by a family who could no longer take the endless nights. When the restless spirits of the past haunted the grounds of Thornton Hall. Ooh. Jessalyn Thornton dared return, only to vanish without a trace. It's up to me to save her from the ghost of Thornton Hall. Ooh, this one looks good. It's ghost themed. <gasps> what? Hello? Anybody here? Pop up again. <laughs> oh my god, why did it still scare me and I was expecting it? This is so tough. <laughs> it scared me. <laughs> why am I so jumpy? <laughs> I didn't even knew that they were gonna do that. Darn it. I was like, it's gonna be a jump scare, isn't it? Whoa, that's cool. It's perfect time for spooky season coming. Well, I mean, we can technically play it now if we want to, but I don't know what we want to do for the rest of the day. That was fun, though. We need Scooby-Doo for this one? <laughs> We're all awake now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ugh. Is there anything after the credits? Is there going to be, like, a like a funny blooper? Sometimes they do that. I'll, I'll wait until the end of the credits to see if there's a funny little blooper thing that they did. It's a fun game, can confirm. Awesome. I'm excited. I don't I don't know if I ever played Thornton. These are the ones where I don't remember anything. Like I don't even remember having have played the Deadly Device. So that's cool. I've played a lot of Nancy Drew games, so a lot. That was a fun one. They did really good for this one. Bravo for them. I really enjoyed this one. This one was also pretty long. Pretty long. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, these are just the characters. Oh, dang it. I thought they were going to do a little blooper thing. Show us their artwork, though. This is cool. <gasps> the murder. This is the guy that died that we never got to see. Science team, assemble! 
Gummy Bear Theatre presents Romeo and Juliet. They are starring doing. Bear One and Bear Two. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is a gummy bear. <laughs> Our first sign was a little. What did that say? I didn't, couldn't, oh, couldn't read it fast enough. We asked him to sit in like a normal person, but he glared. After that, we just, I can't read that fast. Gummy Bear Theater presents The Deadly Device. What How does this? Ryan know the title of the game? It's too meta. I'm just a gummy bear. I have enough trouble with simple concepts. I'm blue. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? What the what? What's up? Deirdre, this is Victor. Your father gave me your number. Oh yeah, you're calling about Nancy or something? I was considering taking her on as a detective. What are your impressions of her? I'm glad you asked. Stay away from her. She is a mess and a half. She supposedly solves all her cases or whatever, but that's not totally true. Most of the people she claims are guilty are totally innocent. A little while back, she was even arrested. So you know what that says about a person. My dad says you're some hotshot researcher, so I imagine you can afford better. Great. I'm glad I called you. Me too. She's a complete narcissist. She's grossly incompetent, she rushes to judgment, and no one really likes her. Spread the word. Deirdre! Gummy Bear Theater presents... That's why we got the, the job! Because he thought we were horrible. Bears. What a great day to be a gummy bear. Oh I hope God. no one eats us. Mm. <laughs> Wait, it's so crazy. I didn't realize the bloopers were all... Sometimes the bloopers aren't a thing, but they are in this game, so I love that. Oh, I've never seen those before. That was cute. What's going on? So at the end of some Nancy Drew games, there are bloopers that they do. So... That was their blooper. Um, <laughs> that was cute. Well, 